So into our previous video, we have already seen about the shell. Now each and every operating system, either your Linux or Windows operating system has a shell. But unlike your other operating system, your Linux has multiple type of your shells. Now why these types are created? So that we can understand and we can run different languages or different programs into different shells. So they basically were divided previously into the Linux. So earlier we had a different type of shell called as SS. SH is a type of shell which is called as a secure shell. Now basically when we started using the Linux operating system or the Unix operating system, we used to have the secure shell. Means by default this shell is got logged in through the user called as root that is your super user. Super user get logged in, he can do everything securely into your operating system. So they used to use this SH shell called as a secure shell. But that time we had only one login which is a default login for the user root. So if I want to create a new user, I can create the users into it. I can manage the users, I can get logged into the users not by the console, not by the terminal, but I can switch the users. The next type of shell we have that is your K shell called as con shell. So this shell we have created so that we can run multiple type of programming like your programming which we have in the Perl and the different programming languages. So we have to use con shell. So post that we brought a new kind of programming languages called as a C language. So for C language, we didn't have the kernel support that is K shell support for running the script programming. So your C shell has been introduced so that we can run all the programs created into the or by using the C shell programming or C programming. So next we have that is called as a restricted shell. Now this shell allows you to get terminal login by different users which you create. We can create different programs according to our different users which we have created. And we can also restrict the other particular users to use our programs. So this were provided into the restricted shell. Suppose that we had multiple shells, even if you go for Unix flavor, you will find many more shells like your TSH. There are many things, many shells. But right now, these are the shells which we have into most of the distributors of your Linux operating system. Now the last shell we have called as a bash shell, called as born again shell which is the same shell which we have called as SH, that is secure shell. But along with that, we have included all the shell into it so that if I'm using this shell called as bash, I can run any of the programming language, any of the program created into any of the languages. Along with that, all the particular logins users will be secured and we do not have to provide any restrictions. By default, it will be restricted by this particular shell itself. So now if you get login by user, by default, you will be into the bash shell. If you want to run any particular program into a particular shell, you need to mention that in which shell you want to run the program. Even though if you do not mention, this particular program will be run with the appropriate shell. So this is your bashes. So nowadays, the shell which you will find into the, all the Linux operating systems, the default shell is your bash shell. So this is about the shells. So let us begin with how we can use the shell and how we can program into this particular shells and modify the entries and create a different programs for running some automated tasks. So let us begin in the next video.